Inshallah. Inshallah, how to know you're progressing in your meditation? When your meditation gets stronger, your character gets better and your meditation gets stronger. Because as soon as you want to make tafakkur then awliyaullah will begin to pray that, Ya Rabbi that they want to be tested. They want to reach towards your heavenly stations and they want to be tested. If you look at the lives of the shaykhs they have been extremely tested with every typo possible difficulty and only through the endurance and good character they can reach towards Allah's satisfaction. When Allah's happy with you He opens hearing. When Allah's happy with you, we open seeing. When Allah's happy with you, it opens everything that Allah wants to open. So the servant would know, inshaAllah. Next question. Hmm? Sayyidi, what is grounding and how do we ground in meditation? The grounding, yeah, inshaAllah, that you're asking to bring in a positive light. At the same time that every time you breathe and you're Bringing in this energy there has to be a purging and grounding of negative energy. Means with every breath that's coming in you have to ground the negative energy to go out. So like a three-prong system that Prophet brought. Not the two prongs, it's the third prong is the grounding. So that when we're sitting the asa was the grounding. When you're standing the asa is the grounding for the shaykh. As he walks on the earth whatever energies are coming between his interaction and the electromagnetic force of the earth, the asa and the sunnah of the cane was the grounding. That the shaykh knows how to push his negative energy back out and whatever positive energies are coming then they bring in that positive energy. For those who are meditating that you're asking to breathe in a positive light but then the Negative lights and negative energies have to come out so they always put one hand down and begin their meditation and they can shift between the hands. That they're meditating and then one hand down on the ground as they're breathing so that to ground the negative energy out of their body and out of their being. One other way was the sujood and that's why Allah had prescribed one of the realities of the sujood was an immense grounding. That after you make all your prayer, bring your energy, as soon as you go into sujood the body is grounding from the forehead every negative energy back into the earth. And that's why they feel an immense closeness to Divine Presence in their sujood. And that's why anytime you want to talk to the Divine you'll feel inspired to prostrate your head to the ground. One, because it purges all negativity and two, from the reality of the closeness with your creator in the position of sujood because you're bringing your donkey to be down and your soul is riding. When you show Allah that, I can ride this body, my soul can ride this body, look the donkey is down. There are some people who will never put their body into sujood because the donkey is riding on top of them. But those whom Allah granted this ni'mat they show Allah that my donkey is under tarbiyah and its head is down. When its head is down they feel their closeness to Allah because Allah is happy with them that they controlled and their soul has a majesty not the body, inshaAllah. How do we know that we are really connected to our shaykh and then to Prophet and then to Allah plus what are we going to feel in meditation? We said that, how do you know if Allah loves you is to know your own love. And how do you know that Prophet loves you and how do you know that the shaykh loves you is that how much do you love? It's not a one way, it's a two way. So that, I love Ya Rabbi, I love you with all my heart but I have absolutely no action that would quantify that. So that's an empty love, that's just a, something somebody would say through their mouth. We meet many people like that, oh don't worry about me, I'm good with God, I love God. But they don't do anything for it. So love is something real. It's when I'm immensely in love with Allah immensely in love with Sayyidina Muhammad that my life and everything about it is to show that love. I want Allah to know how much I love Allah how much I love Sayyidina Muhammad 
if you feel that and think that, then awliya come and teach you that you must understand they feel that about you. If you are of that nature in which your love is sincere and your actions match your love, you're doing the most you can to show that love, you have truly gotten their attention and then know that Prophet loves you like that and you are reaching towards Ahba because you put your life and your love where your mouth is. It's not something you just say but it's something you say and you do with your actions and the actions are important. And that's why they come to teach, then do khidmat. Khidmat, they taught us all in our homes, khidmat brings a rahmah. Why? Because it shows your love. Can you love something? We said you can give without love. All your life you can give to all the different things you want in your life. But can you love without giving? It's impossible. This love that Allah is talking about, no, no, قُلْ إِنَا صَلَاتِ وَاهْنُسُقِ وَاهْمَ يَحْيَى وَمَمَّاتِ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ for verily my prayers, my life, my family, my rizq, everything for Allah So then they come and teach, no if you really love you give everything for that love. Why? Because you know it's going to begin to open and it's going to blossom and you struggle for that love and you do for that love. Then you must know that Allah loves you like that, mm -hmm. Prophet loves you like that and no doubt only Allah love you because you're of service, you're doing things in that way to accomplish that mission of love and that spreading of love. We're now in oceans of ignorance everywhere. Can you imagine the one who's going to complain about zulamat and all this oppression coming onto the earth but didn't lift a finger, didn't put a dollar, didn't do nothing to stop the oppression and then you're surprised that you're in the middle of a fire burning? No, well you, you made it, you live with it. But those whom they gave their whole life to spread the light and spread the love, why Allah want to put them into oppression? Allah say, you live the life in which you spread the light and spread the love. I'll keep you in a pocket of love even if the whole world is burning, you won't be burning. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzata wa yasifu. Salaamu ala mursaleen, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basir surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.